morning everyone and welcome to the vlog. My hair looks crazy. <laughs> I'm in the same spot, um, although our table is a lot smaller. We took the leaves out of the table. I don't really don't know if you could see that. Um, but uh, I'm in the same spot having my breakfast. I'm not editing the vlog um, right now this morning because um, Matthew filmed and I don't have his footage because he is coming back with the U-Haul right now. Crazy, it's getting real, y'all. Um, Here's what I'm having for breakfast. Oh, there's like something on the lens. There we go. I just have scrambled eggs and turkey sausage. And this is also what I'm having for lunch because today is my glucose test and I was told that this is like one of the best things you can eat before your glucose test. It's not the three hour test, it's the one hour test. So I'm not like having to fast or anything. Um, hopefully I don't end up having to do the three hour test. But I was told that this is like one of the best things you can eat before the test because obviously you don't want to eat like waffles with syrup or something like that so this is what I'm having for breakfast and lunch <laughs> super fun day I'm just ready for it to be over with <laughs> all right I'm back in my spot <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna start editing my footage for the vlog because I'm ready to go but I, I still have like an hour and a half until we need to leave for my appointment so, yeah, I think I'm just going to start editing that, and in a little bit I'll have my lunch, which is the same as I had for breakfast. <laughs> What's up? Hello. <laughs> we are heading to my doctor appointment now. The ultrasound is first. I've got my drink. Coca-Cola. Ugh. But, Leah said in the comments that it's not that bad. Yeah, I don't think so. it's going to be that bad. Some people say it's the worst thing in the world, and some people some are like, people oh, don't no. like hot dogs, too, but they're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, just saying. So anyway, um, what's going to happen is the ultrasound is first, and once the ultrasound is done, I have to drink the blue cola um, basically like right before we meet with the MFM to go over everything. And after that, I'll head down to the OB and I'll let them know what time I finished drinking it because you have to drink it within like five minutes apparently. Um, you have to get tested at exactly an hour after. Yeah, and exactly an hour after. So I'll let them know what time I finished and fingers crossed I don't end up having to wait in the waiting room for a long time. So I'm drinking it before we talk with him. So. That'll take up a good bit, probably. I don't know, I hope so. Meanwhile, in my world, drove all the way out to Lewisburg, 30 minutes away, to get the uh, the U-Haul for us. It's a 26 foot U-Haul and a car hauler. It took them like an hour because they were having issues, we were having issues with credit cards and tax exemption and all sorts of other stuff we were trying to deal with. And finally, when we got it all, I go over to pick up the trailer and put my car on it, got the trailer, my car kept getting stuck. High center, so like the middle of the car was getting pinned on the trailer. Oh when gosh. Up there. Ended up driving it over somewhere else and parked the trailer in a little divot in the road and had the, and then pulled out the ramps and it was pretty much flat, like we were just driving straight onto it. <laughs> so I don't know how we're going to get the car off. Ooh. But how caliber, are we gonna get my car? The caliber will go on real well. My Kia yeah. only sits this far off the ground. Oh yeah, Your that's caliber true. Is my like way off the car ground. is a lot. Yeah, that's so. why it's so much easier for me to get out of this car because it's not real low to the ground. And right now with my bump, pregnantness, yeah, that's a little difficult. <laughs> anyway, so that's what's happening. A bunch of other stuff is happening today, but we'll get to that when we get there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Like a million hours later, <laughs> we are out of our appointment. Um, so they were running like way behind at the MFM. So the ultrasounders. Yeah. Um, what they ended up, I called because it was looking like we weren't gonna get to the OB before they closed. Um, so they, I called. It was barely me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, 
my car and if we would have waited to do the drink I would have had like that wouldn't have worked oh yeah yeah so what they had me do is I I called them and she was like okay go ahead and drink your drink this is before I went back for my ultrasound um, she's like go ahead and drink it and um, she stayed on the phone with me until I finished <laughs> so she could get the exact time and um, she told she told me that if you get done to where you can be down here in an hour then just come down here if not then we'll send someone up so it was still quite a bit before we got in to do the ultrasound and like right after the ultrasound was done um, the lady came in to take my blood while I was still in the room so yeah that happened and then after we got all the paperwork we needed from the MFM because obviously since we're moving we need to have like all my records and everything so then oh gosh we went down to the OB and at this point I was feeling like I was about to pass out which I still am feeling like I'm about to pass out um, and so at this point we would, at that point, I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, it's okay. We're getting some food. We're gonna go to Hobby Lobby, and then we're gonna go hang out with Dave and Dave Barbara. Barbara. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> you seem like you were really losing it. I feel like I am. <laughs> we're here at Hobby Lobby trying to find a shadow box for our wedding flower stuff and whatever it is. Uh, something's here, too. She'll show you later, I'm sure. Yeah. So we got a little wall of shadow boxes. I kind of like this one. It'll be like um, my bouquet and the small bouquet and then the program from our wedding. Heard it here first. <laughs> so let's see. I kind of like the burlap and wood frame here is nice. Yeah. It goes with like the theme of our wedding because we have like burlap stuff all in our wedding. Well, let's just do it. Let's just, I also would like to say <laughs> I've had my flowers, like dried out flowers since our wedding, which was like... 2014. Almost, almost three years. But, boom, <laughs> half off. Yep, perfect time to get it. Cha-ching. I still felt like I'm gonna pass out. Hey, can you carry this? No. <laughs> we just stopped at Matthew's parents' house. We wanted to show them the baby photos because they did 3D photos. I haven't shown y'all. I'll show y'all in a little bit. Um, but, I'll show you the real baby eventually. <laughs> yeah, eventually. Just for now, we'll just tease you with the baby. <laughs> um, but we wanted to show them the photos. And Jason and Courtney are in town. And I think we're going to have lunch with them tomorrow at 10.00. But 10 o'clock? That's an early lunch. <laughs> they gave us the sweetest <coughs> gift ever. I am so excited. Look at this onesie. Oh my gosh, it's got a pink Texas. Some of you may <laughs> think, why do I think of shiny, sparkly Texas? Because Sierra has a shirt with the same thing. Yep. A gold, <laughs> sparkly, glittery Texas. I have a white shirt that has a gold sparkly and Texas like this. If, in, if you guys didn't know, we're naming our child Texas Tennessee Easter Day. <laughs> so, How crazy would that be? Joke's out of the bag. I mean, the, the uh, cat's out of the bag, so to speak. They also gave us a little card. Matt, Sierra, and baby E. Um, and right now, we are heading over to Dave and Myra's house. Um, I think they're ordering some pizza and we're gonna... The, sh the shadows are like real weird right now. That helps not really at all. <laughs> but we're heading Don't to their house the <laughs> right now. Uh, they're ordering pizza. Uh, we're gonna have dinner with them and hang out one last time. See the baby. Leave. Yes, and see the baby, little Mia. I'm so excited. Little Mia. She's I think two months now. Something like that. Dave. <laughs> Look at her tiny feet in the shoes. <laughs> How old is she now? <laughs> uh, she'll be two months the thirtieth. Okay. 
So tired. We're home now. We had so much fun over there with Dave and Myra and getting to meet Mia and play with DJ. I don't think um, we filmed with DJ because he was taking a nap when we had Mia. They are so sweet though. They gave us a bag of baby girl clothes. So I'm so excited. We have more clothes for her.